Hello and welcome to another video on Power Dojo. Today we are going to talk about another subject that might interest you that is Power Platform Certifications. In this video we are going to have an overview of all the Power Platform Certifications. I was thinking what is the best manner in which I can explain these certifications to you in a pedagogic manner. This is what I found to be the best. The X axis that you see on this slide represents the different uh, Power Platform Certifications. So you got PL100 on one end and PL900 on the other end. These certifications are divided into the categories, the associate category, expert and fundamentals. I will explain what's the difference between these three. I also made partitions between the different categories of certifications. So as you can see, PL100 to PL500 all belong to the associate category of certifications. There is only one under expert, which is PL600. The fundamentals category only has one certification, PL900. I have also shown this axis, which shows the difficult, how difficult a certification is. It will help you to understand how much preparation time you need to obtain a certification. I have also marked a red line under a few certifications. These are the certifications that I have obtained and they are still active for me. So let's get right into it. The first certification that we'll talk about is the Power Platforms Fundamentals. The fundamental certifications are recognized by the one star that they have. As you can see over here, these are among the easiest ones among them all. All the certifications which are under the Series 900 for Microsoft belong to the fundamentals category so pl900 is assigned to power platform fundamentals it will take you around one to two weeks to prepare for the certification the resources that i used to obtain the certifications were available on youtube itself i will be giving you the link in description the first video that i will suggest to you is john savile's technical training it is a two hour long video in which he has explained this subject comprehensively if you get time to watch it once or several times you are good to clear the this exam in your first attempt the other video that i will recommend you is by free code camp which is a three hour, 30 minutes long video. Again, it is a comprehensive video on this subject, on this particular certification. If you are able to watch it once or twice, you are good to clear this examination in the first attempt itself. And as you can see on the difficult level, I have marked the certification way at, way at the bottom. So it is among the easiest exams of them all. I've also made this slide in which you can see the certification exam fees for instance PL900 which is right at the bottom. You can check what are the prices for the country that you are in. If you want you can pause the video over here. The next certification that we're going to talk about is the PL300 Power BI Data Analyst. Every certification that we're going to talk about from now onwards are role based, such as Power BI Data Analyst. It belongs to the associate category of certifications. They are identified by the two stars that you can see over here. This certification it focuses on your expertise on how you prepare the data in power bi model the data visualize the data analyze the data and how you deploy and maintain deliverables you need to have some hands on experience before attempting the certification i would recommend a hands on experience of at least 6 months before you attempt the certification it took me three attempts before I finally obtained the certification. On the difficulty level, I have marked it 
on a certification which is medium will take you around six to eight weeks of preparation the resources that i used were the question bank that is provided by major up i will be providing you the link in the description you can also refer to the question bank that is available on exam topics please be careful about the answers that are given on exam topics you need to look into the discussion or the conversation thread below each question that way you'll understand so you'll understand the reasoning behind selecting a particular answer and the reasoning behind not selecting a particular answer back in the day this certification was the holy grail for me as i said it took me around three attempts to finally obtain it so if you're planning to become a power bi data analyst this is the certification that you should aim for as for the exam fees for pl300 i've listed it on this slide over here so you can pause the video if you want to get an idea of what exam fees you need to pay for pl300 the next certification that we're going to talk about is the pl200 power platform functional consultant again it belongs to the associate category of certifications the functional consultant is the one who implements the design which is provided by the solution architect which is another role that we will be talking about soon he collaborates not only with the solution architect but also with the user experience designers he or she is the one who ensures that the implemented solution is running smoothly and there are no hiccups and we can recognize him or her as someone who is there for troubleshooting any issues that we observe with this provided solution as a functional consultant you need to be familiar with the microsoft dataverse power apps power automate cloud flows power pages and the power platform environments as you can see i have marked the certification a bit higher than pl300 for pl200 you need to have expertise in multiple microsoft power platform components not only one what i recommend is 8 to 10 weeks of preparation time before you attempt the certification the resources that i used were once again the question bank provided by major up i'll be providing you the link in the description you can also refer to the question bank available on exam topics once again just be careful on exam topics have a look at the discussion thread below each question so you'll understand the reasoning behind selecting the correct answer and the reasoning behind why you should not select a particular answer now we'll have a look at the exam fees for pl200 which i have listed on the slide on screen if you want you can pause the video to determine the exam fees that you need to pay depending on your region that you are in the next certification that we're going to talk about is the PL100, which is the Power Platform App Maker. Similar to PL300, uh, the PL100 exam is related with only one component of uh, Power Platform, which is Power Apps. Before we dive more into the certification, I would like to alert you that. Microsoft has decided to retire this certification in June 2024. As of now, they haven't announced any certification that is going to replace PL100. But if you're planning to 
attempt in the coming three months before attempting the PL100 examination I will recommend that you have around six to eight months of hands-on experience on Power Apps. This certification focuses on your expertise on how you use Power Apps and as you can see on the difficulty level I have marked it on a medium level I recommend you take around six to eight weeks before you attempt the certification the resources that I would recommend is again measure up I have provided the link in the description below as well as exam topics about which we spoke about earlier for the exam fees of PL 100 I have listed it on this slide if you want you can pause the video to determine the exam fees that you need to pay for PL 100 depending on the region that you are in the next certification that we are going to talk about is PL 500 these are between the two certifications that our developer friends might be interested in PL 500 is Power Automate RPA developer before attempting the examination of Power Automate RPA developer I recommend that you have around six to eight months of hands-on experience of using Power Automate this certification focuses on your expertise on how you analyze and design processes for automation and implement them using power automate for desktop and power automate cloud flows i marked the certification on medium or the difficulty level as once again it dealing with only one component of power platform which is power automate i would recommend around six to eight weeks before you attempt this examination to obtain the certification the resources that i would recommend is once again the question bank provided by major up and the question bank provided by exam topics for the examination fees of pl 500 i have listed it on this slide if you want you can pause the video to determine the exam fees for your region the next certification that we are going to talk about is the pl 400 which is the last among the associate certifications the pl 400 is again a certification that our developer friends might be interested in power platform developer this certification focuses on your expertise on how you design develop test and troubleshoot a microsoft power platform solutions you need to have a strong applied knowledge of microsoft platform services including understanding of its capabilities boundaries and constraints you also need a basic understanding of security and and application lifecycle management practices for the microsoft power platform as for the difficulty level for this certification i have marked it on the same level as the power platform functional consultant i will recommend that you take around 8 to 10 weeks before you attempt this examination to obtain the certification once again the resources that i'll recommend to you are the question bank from major up i'll be providing the link in the description below of this video as well as the question bank on exam topics if you were to have a look at the exam fees for pl 400 i have listed it on this slide if you want you can pause the video to determine the exam fees for this certification in your region the next certification that we're going to talk about is the last one on our list which is PL 600 
Power Platform Solutions Architect. This certification belongs to the expert category of certification. They are identified by the three stars as shown on the slide. Unlike the other certifications that you see over here, PL600 has a prerequisite. You cannot attempt the certification on its own. You need to either have obtained PL200 or PL400 before you attempt PL600. So there's a catch. This certification focuses on your expertise, the functional and technical knowledge of Microsoft Power Platform. You are the expert. You are the person that the Power Platform functional consultant and Power Platform developer will come to to seek solutions. You have the ability to identify opportunities to solve business problems. Needless to say, I have marked the certification a bit higher than PL200 and PL400 because this certification is a lot difficult than the other certifications on this list. I will recommend to you that you take around 10 to 12 weeks before you attempt the examination to obtain the certification. The resources that I will recommend are once again the question bank on measure up and the question bank on exam topics. We'll have a look at the exam fees now for PL600, which completes the table that we have over here, where you'll see all the exam fees of all the Power Platform certifications. Are listed so you can determine the exam fees that you need to pay depending on the region that you are in. Do not forget to subscribe and comment on what you thought about this video. I'll see you next time.